Hi, how are you today? John Mant Jr., owner of Stewart's Original Hot Dogs, says last Thursday, Sodexo offered him a deal that was hard not to refuse. They wanted to cut his hot dog stands down from 11 to 2 and reduce his share of the pie from $1.20 per hot dog to 74 cents. Did they make the terms unacceptable? Knowing that, that it would be unacceptable, I feel they did. But Matt Jr. says he can't help but wonder if the company's hardline stance was more about politics than about money. You know, everything was going fine and, and we had a great working relationship. And then all of a sudden things change. It makes you wonder. In April, the university and the food vendor received a petition with more than 700 signatures asking the two entities to cut ties with Stewart's over remarks Matt Jr. made on social media. His comments were perceived to be ignorant, insensitive, and anti Muslim by people who signed the petition. When, you know, a business you know, violates general community standards by uh, marginalizing a part of that community, this is how we respond. Nelson, who is one of the organizers of the petition and lost to Matt Jr. 2018 for the District 16 seat and plans to run again in 2020, says his motives weren't political. And so when he's making profit off of parts of our community that he's also choosing to speak disparagingly about and marginalize, we're saying that he should not also be making profit off of them. Matt Jr. says the feedback he's gotten from the community since the announcement has been incredible. Texts, phone calls, emails, including people coming to his hot dog stand offering them support. I've always enjoyed coming here and eating them, so I'll, I'll miss seeing them at the games. Nelson says he also received positive feedback from the community, but Matt Jr. hopes his supporters lead him back into Marshall games and the District 16 seat in 2020.